try and guess from that view, everybody, what we are looking at. It is not a Doberman Pinscher. It is not a Polo Pony. Indeed, Brian. It is a buffalo. And unfortunately, that buffalo has had its tail chewed off by ticks. And you can see him wagging ineffectually at the uh, sort of, I don't know what he's doing, he's sort of scratching, I guess. Here is a bun in slightly finer fettle. He has all of his appendages intact. And he's eating, this is quite interesting, he's now browsing almost exclusively on the round-leafed teak. Now, try and see, is he eating round-leaf teak fresh leaves, or is he picking at the old ones? He's pretty much taking everything, isn't he? Now, this is not a buffalo's preferred forage by any stretch of the imagination. I think he's taking the slightly yellower ones, you know. I'm not sure that he's taking the very... Well, there's not much green left there, is there? There he is, going straight on to the plain green ones there, Brian. Exactly as I predicted he wouldn't do. It's nice to be 100% wrong sometimes as opposed to just slightly, because then there's no excuse to make, you know? Keeps you on your toes. Exactly. Very long tongue. Very useful, of course. That's how they graze. They don't actually bite the grass and the forage off with their teeth. They use their tongues. There's another one eating strychnos leaves off to the right hand side. Oh, hello. Yes. Good day. He is um, very unimpressed with Brian for some reason. And did you think a bad thought about him? I didn't. They really do look so deeply morose, especially at this time of the year. And especially when they're having to eat what they don't want to eat. Now that one is eating Strychnos madagascarensis. That of course is the black monkey orange, these scraggly bushes.